Three, one, two, three. Team, Team awesome. awesome. Here we go. Let's go. you guys I'm so happy I did this hike because most people just take the train to go see Machu Picchu but the best way to see Machu Picchu is through the Inca Trail hi guys so I am about to head to the airport my flight takes off to LAX at six o'clock. It is 4.30 right now, my Uber is on the way, and yes, I'm super excited. I packed literally last night at like 11.30. I have I've like only had two hours of sleep, so I'm actually pretty tired, but I have a five and a half hour layover in LAX, so I'm gonna just go chill at the lounges, do my makeup, look cute, <laughs> and yeah, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. My Uber is probably here, so I will catch you guys later. Bye. I made it to Peru, guys. I'm super excited. I just got through customs and now I'm gonna go get my bag. Good noches. Muy bien. Gracias. Hi guys. Always excited guys. Okay, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Nilton. No, I am one of the guys who is going to leave this group. Okay, you can call me Neil to make it easier. Or Nilton, if you can do it, will be better, right? So I am one of your guys, but I've been doing this for many years, no? And Actually, we're gonna be two guys, so we're gonna support each other. We're going to hide one in front, one in the back, no? Always, no, taking care of you, right? Okay, guys, I am packing my bag. So I'm packing my day pack. I also, they gave us a duffel bag. So I'm gonna pack that as well. It is 10.32 p.m. And I have like... <laughs> They're coming to pick me up at 4.10 a.m. So, uh, gonna get to packing, then take a nap. Short, couple hour nap. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Then I'm gonna go on my trip. Hot 
yo. Ángela, ¿cómo le Buenos días. Buenos días. Right here. So, Timo, so please, let's introduce each other, okay? Let's everybody, guys, mention where we come from and our names and why you are here. <laughs> okay, who wants to be a first volunteer? You? Okay, hold on. All right, guys, we just finished breakfast and we're gonna head back to the bus. It is raining like crazy, so the weather is not the best, but we're remaining positive and hopefully the weather will clear up, it'll stop raining. Yes. <laughs> Please. Don't be shy guys. My country, your country, my house is you. Welcome. Okay, listen up guys. We're now located here at Wallabamba Village. So the elevation guys is 3,100 meters. This means that we are now in feet at 10,000 feet. We go up to Ayapata, which is our campsite. It's actually about an hour from here. And the elevation there is 11,000 feet or 3,300 meters, okay? So, it's just about an hour, guys. It's snowing, guys. One thing I didn't expect was snow. It's day two, all uphill, but we're managing. See you soon. Okay, so, I made it down from the highest point. That sucked. Whew, lots of snow. We didn't have like the right shoes. Everybody was falling all over the place. Mostly me. <laughs> I'm glad that it's downhill from here. And then it's soon gonna be time for lunch, which I'm super pumped about. They have made all accommodations for my restrictive diet which is nice. And yes, this is day two. The hard part I think is over. That was the hardest part of the entire um, hike from what our tour, um, what is it called? Our guide told us. So yeah, let's do it. All right, Nilton. Hello, Angel, how are we doing? We're good. <laughs> so tell me about what we just did. Oh, it's, it was wonderful. It was, it's been like my third time being in the snow on Death Woman Pass and well, it was challenging but worth it. Challenging uh, but worth it. Yes. So how many times have you done this? This is my third time in the snow, but I've been doing this for 15 years. So it means that I've been, <laughs> I did about maybe seven to 800 times, I would say. Seven to 800 <laughs> times. Yes. And this is the third time that no. Nilton <laughs> has seen that snow. Yes but we did it, we made it Goodness. less than an hour to lunch. That's right, that's right. All right, yeah. team awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are on our way to our campsite. It's gonna be a four hour trek and we feel so much better after having eaten lunch. And <laughs> yes, we're ready to just like crush this four hour trek, get to our campsite, relax, have some tea, and then dinner, and then bed. Such a great group of people from all different cultures. We have Brazilians, Mexicans, Americans, British guy, who else? I think that's it. Other, what other nationalities do we have? Cody, say hi. Hey everybody. What other nationalities do we have? Uh, did you say Canadian already? Oh, Canadian, French Canadian. Yeah. And then that's it. I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, so anyways, it's a really good group. Really excited. Four more hours and then we get to rest. Okay, bye. This right there is our campsite. We're gonna have a little history lesson here in a second from our lovely guy.
Okay, we made it to our campsite. Number two, right here. <sighs> Glad this day's over. A lot of, a lot of uphill today. The porter's caught for us when we get here. It's really sweet. <laughs> Gracias. Okay guys, um, I'm in my tent and you can't see it right now because it's dark, but maybe I can show you guys in the morning the setup. I was way too tired yesterday to show anything. But today was such a long day, but it was a really good day. We feel so accomplished. Day two is the hardest day of the four day trek, but yeah, so we'll have tea time here in about 30 minutes. I'm gonna wash up, they give you Oh gosh, I can't show you because it's so dark. But they give you a bowl of hot water just to wash up and just, you know. And then I'm gonna change into my um, thermals and my Crocs and just relax and bask in the work that we did today. And it's just, yeah, I can't wait until we actually get to Machu Picchu, which will be in two more days. So this is day two of a four day hike. Three nights, four days. So yeah, just wanted to check in. Morning guys, so it is day three. I'm just waking up, um, it's five o'clock and they come, they bring you, they ask whether or not you want coffee, <laughs> which if you guys don't know, I'm like addicted to coffee. So I love coffee. I don't feel great today. I, I think I'm like coming down with a cold or something. Like my lymph nodes, lymph nodes are swollen. But anyways, <laughs> day three, it's only six miles of hiking. So, um, should be a fairly simple day in comparison to day one and two and yeah we're gonna be seeing three inca sites today oh my god i look crazy right now i'm so tired but yes i'm uh, excited to start day three i'm gonna brush my teeth and pack up my tent and then we're gonna head to breakfast and then we're gonna get going guys some of them were our quarters no? these humble people uh, they come from the countryside most of them live at a very high elevation at 4,000 meters hola buenos dias mi nombre angel um tengo 33 and how do you say where are you from soy soy, soy. soy de estados unidos uh, Washington, D.C. The Washington, la capital, chicos, de Estados Unidos. Three, one, two, three, three. Awesome! Let's go. Yeah. Hi, guys. So it is day three, and we're going to be seeing, as I mentioned this morning, three Inca sites. Um, it's not that much hiking today, I think total of six miles which is not that much in comparison to the last two days yeah and the weather is amazing no rain no snow the sun's not out yet because it's still quite early but we're going to be hiking through i believe it's a like a different kind of vegetation like uh almost like rainforest vegetation yeah there are going to be some bugs but I got my bug spray, so I'm prepared. I'm leading the pack for once, guys. <laughs> Where is everyone? Do you see them? There they are. It's only because it's downhill. Every day, leg day, hey. Okay guys, so we're hiking 
through the tropical side of the Andes Mountains. And we have, I think, about maybe two more hours or so before the hike is over. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so happy I did this hike because most people just take the train to go see Machu Picchu. But the best way to see Machu Picchu is through the Inca Trail, which is what I'm doing. So I'm just really happy, very proud of my body. I feel very accomplished having done this trail and I highly recommend it, highly recommend it. The views are just stunning, unmatched, stunding. These are the pins, the thicker one, the one below, all in the good side. How many times you went? We finally got to the campsite during the day, so I'm able to show you my tent. It is a double tent, but because I'm on my own, it's just for me. Like I basically paid for a single tent because I didn't want to room with a stranger. And yeah, this is what it is. It's extremely spacious. Like I can literally stand up straight if I wanted to. Very, very spacious. That's my day pack. This is the duffel bag that they issue us and that's what the porters will carry. And then, yeah, they set up our tent for us. And let me try and I'll zoom back a little bit so you can see the full thing. Oh, well, it won't let me, but you get the idea. It's a really nice tent. This is my sleep setup. I have my sleeping bag and then I have my <laughs> Blow up mattress. And then this is provided by the company. It's like another like kind of flat sleeping pad. Full tent. You guys can kind of see it. Toiletry bag and then my duffel bag, shoes. All the things. This is for you, my angel and with a nice uh, ceviche made out of mangoes and corn. It's lovely. So then we have here, guys. You do not zip it up all the way. If a bug comes in, you can eat it. <laughs> all right, guys, so I just took a cold shower <laughs> and it was really cold, but very refreshing because the area that we're in now is very, very hot. We have another hour before, actually wait, three o'clock, then we're going to go see the last Inca site. We'll be there maybe for about an hour, relax a little bit. This is like a super chill day. Get some dinner and go to bed. Yeah. Aren't you going to talk about lunch, Angel? <laughs> okay, so that is Chris in the tent next to me. I really, I don't know, lunch was fabulous. What do you want to say about lunch? No. The mango ceviche. Yeah, the mango ceviche was lit. Perfect. <laughs> lunch was very, very good. Chicken, okay? Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> this is the vegetarian and vegan option. Vegetarian and vegan option, please. This is instead of beef. What the hell? This is vegetarian too. This is without chicken, but it's more like vegan. With avocado. Avocado. Can you give everything down that rice? Oh, look at these, my friends. I'm sorry if you guys don't need pork. I've been saying. And that's the right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, my friend, huh? More ceviche. Gonna make it room, please. Make it room. Lomo Sotato. Oh my goodness. Look at what Mikhail did for us. Wow. Oh, God. I gave it to you guys last night. Remember that the trail is a little tricky and there's some narrow sections and a slippery section, right? I'm gonna leave the group and we can also overtake people, okay, right? Good luck, guys, on the Gringo Killer section. I wanna share one more time. This should be the last time that you're gonna, I'm gonna share your, my urine with you. <laughs> I got here a new one, which means not true that I actually added my urine. <laughs> Just kidding, right? <laughs> We're headed to the dead. No, what is it called again? OMG step. OMG step slash gringo killer step slash. Slash a lot of names. Slash, lot of names. Oh, okay. 
That's where we're going. Come on. I know. I thought you had more names for it. No? Is this it? Made it past the OMG stairs. Now we're headed to the, ooh, I don't remember the name. I'm so bad with the names. It's a gate. Sun gate, sun gate, that's what it is. About 10 more minutes and then I can rest. My goodness, I really need to do more cardio. Yeah. All right, Anna, how do we feel? It's day four. Great, last stretch. Last stretch, we're almost there. And we're so excited. We woke up like what? I woke up at 2.30. Yeah, I've been up. <laughs> We've been up, but we're ready to go. It is so surreal, guys. We're almost there. It's just so beautiful out here. It's basking, basking in the sun. giving out the cocoa leaves, which I cannot partake in, but that's fine. Cocoa leaves. I'll take these. I'll take you got me. I got you. <laughs> now finally very proud of you. You guys are now here in Machu Picchu after hike this incredible you know, trail that we guys we been spending guys like three, four days uh, going through these mountains, snow, rain, and the wonderful weather that we got in last uh, yesterday. It was just probably one of the best experience actually that I even got it, right? Mm -hmm. So this is, I told you that to find the snow on the Inca Trail is not very usual, right? And then so it's unusual. And then now we got this weather for you guys, and this is all about, well, the coca leaves. <laughs> right? The couple of guys predicted this. And actually, guys, now we are in one of the seven new wonders of the world, guys, which I bet you know the other. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are done with Machu Picchu and we have our bus tickets. It's a 25 minute ride to the restaurant where we're gonna have like our final meal and then we're gonna head back into Cusco and yes, yeah, so and then I'm gonna take a long hot bath. <laughs> We're off to the train, guys. Back to Cusco. <sighs> what a trip. What a trip.